All right, guys, we're back with another Discord profile with Mr. Casey Scott. Doing it again, topping the Rivals, what was it, Rivals series this weekend or this past weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, Rivals Challenge series, there you go. Hosted by M4 Games, some here, somewhere. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And what'd you play? I played Dinos again. No surprise there. Yep. Anything you want to say before we start this? Uh, it was a good event. Um, ran pretty smooth. Couldn't really complain. Yeah? It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I could say the same. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did pretty good yourself. You top dated with me, so. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to run through it a little bit. Uh, I'll explain anything that seems odd. So uh, you have your three over raptors, of course, two animador, um, three babies, uh, well, two and one petite, your three miscellaneous. Uh, I went two effect wheeler and three gamma with the one driver. And then I main decked two token collector. Okay, why So that? after the ban list, oh, excuse me? Oh, I was saying, you're, you're already explaining it. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so, um, first of all, it combos with your stuff, um, with Lost World, you can, you can do that and protect it and get your baby combo, and it's level four, so you can do things with that, but, uh, basically, thanks to the ban list, I noticed that if, um, you hold this card against Infernoble Knight, um, or even Dragon Link, uh, for the right timing, you can just drop this on their tokens, and they almost pass. Like, it depends on their, their extenders in their hand, but, like, they're going to make a very suboptimal board if you take away their tokens at the right time. Yep. So, it's really sweet. I uh, took these from my side deck last time and started manning them, so. And they uh, they did come in handy. Uh, then the one Giant Rex, one Pank, and two Conductor. I didn't actually end up bumping them up like I said I might uh, it worked out again it was fine no, never really came up this this time where I uh, wish I had more targets uh, and I'm still playing extra I wouldn't play the deck without it at the moment and obviously if you're playing a more combo variant you can't play this card but uh, for right now I, I just really like it it keeps the deck solid and uh, humble <laughs> it doesn't have to overextend or anything yeah uh, I dropped Dark Ruler No More. I decided to main two Droplet, and uh, I still played my mind. So, uh, sorry for the glare. That's um, fine. Droplet is really, really clutch because it can get things in the damage step. Um, so, it, it really helps there. And uh, it actually, because it's a quick play, it helps you go first as well. So, it's just another interruption. And then you play your three Lost Worlds, uh, standard. Mandatory, in my opinion. Uh, three Fossil Dig. Same thing. Two in your two pills. And then, to round it out, the three Ingrams. This card's just too good right now. Can't really play a deck without it. Um, that's four three card. Okay. Then for the extra deck, I'm still playing with these guys. Um, it didn't come up for this tournament, but at my locals, people still play Maximus, so... Um, it's just worth having in there. Um, and then your, your two of each of your Dino XEs. Well, I guess they're dragons, but you get the picture. Uh, so Dolka and Lagia. The Dweller in Tornado. Keeping it pretty popular. Um, I, I did the Phoenix again, and I went ahead and went Cerebus. Uh, last time it was Access Code Talker. Service came up. Um, it, it was good. It's exactly what I needed it to be. Then two secure and two crypto. Okay. So that and then uh, for side deck, I cited my third droplet. Uh, the reason why I didn't main it is because this deck can't always sustain discarding your hand. Um, so you want it. You want it really against the decks that um, are making a board. So um, if it's just dragoon. I wouldn't side this in, but if it was like anything that um, was making huge board presence, uh, I would side all of these in. So, 
Uh, Dark Ruler came clutch in my top eight match against Rox. Uh, that deck is surprisingly resilient still without uh, Block Dragons. So kudos to the guy that pops. Uh, and then I played my third token collector. Uh, I cut Lancey at the two and DD Crow the two. This was to make space uh, for the other cards I wanted to incorporate this go round. Um, I think Lancia got stronger, so I will bump this back up to three. And I actually think DD Crow got a little bit weaker uh, after the ban list. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I definitely needed to make room for other things like the Dark Rulers and stuff. So um, I don't know. Going forward, Crow might be cut, but I mean, it did. It honestly, it comes in clutch against Eldledge. You can hit the Golden Lord, so it. It really does have its niche plays, um, and then like like I said in the last profile, it's just good against Dino as well. So I don't know. Uh, going forward, uh, three Cosmic Cyclone uh, standard for most side deck. Yeah. Two Dankos. Uh, you still don't need your normal. Um, I didn't like three because of the space issue, and because I wanted to try out Duster. I got myself a copy. So, okay. that's uh, that's my list, and then you know your tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of tokens. All right. Uh, yeah. You got so, uh, anything else you want to say? Um, just a shout out again to Encol Games Rivals. You guys are awesome, uh, and to my wife for letting me go play at these awesome events. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to you for getting the profile. Thank you. Yep. No problem. Always do it. Yep. Is that it? All right. Peace.